Welcome back to all of you. In this video, you will be learning the one of most important topic of chapter one of your eleventh class geography, that is geography as a discipline. So let's start this video. Or today's topic is what are the main branches of geography, which is based on systematic approaches. So answer is on the basis of systematic approaches, there are three main branches such as physical geography, human geography, and bio geography. Student. For the better understanding of this topic, please watch the previous vlog that is difference between the systematic geography and regional geography of your class series. So let's understand the first topic that is physical geography in detail. Physical geography is the study of the physical or the natural features of the earth. In physical geography, it is further divided into the following branches. First branch is geomorphology or we can say that it is a sub branch of physical geography that is geomorphology geomorphology it is the study of landform and their evolution and the related processes means jitne bhi hamare paas mein continents hain mountains hain plains hain plateaus hain river valleys hain in sab ki study jo hai na humne geomorphology ke beech mein karni hai next topic is climatology climatology is the study of structure of atmosphere elements of weather climate or climatic types also in this we have to study that rainfall kitni rainfall kahan ho rahi hai temperature kitna hai atmospheric pressure kya hai then hamare paas mein wind cyclones then in sab ki study jo hai na wo climatology ke beech mein hum log karenge next is hydrology in hydrology it is the study of realm of water over the surface of the earth which includes the ocean water lakes rivers and other source of water bodies and also check the effects of this on humans means yahan pe jitne bhi oceans hain river hain lakes hain in sab ki study karna sath hi sath ye bhi check karna ki in sab ka humans pe kya effect pad raha hai iski bhi study hum karenge in hydrology next is soil geography soil geography is the study of the process of soil formation and soil types and the distribution as well as the uses of these means yahan pe soil ko matlab soil kaise banti hai uski formation kaisi hoti hai kitna time lag jata hai soil ko banne mein then hamare paas mein iske kitne different type ki hamare paas soils hoti hain soil ke kya uses hain then hamare paas mein in sab ki jitni bhi detail mein study karni hai wo sab hum log sirf soil geography ke beech mein study karenge so the second most important branch of the systematic geography that is human geography in human geography we have to study that it is the influence of the environment on the human's life so again further human geography is divided into the following sub branches first branch is social and cultural geography it is the study of the society in the spatial dynamic as well as the cultural elements means different kind hai hamare paas mein group of people hai unki society different hai unka culture different hai then un sab ki study jo hai na humne social and cultural uh, geography mein padhni hai agar ek example se samjhe isko to yahan pe hamare paas mein india ka example le lete hain bahut zyada different kind of languages ke people hai different kind ke people hai hamare paas mein different caste ke people hai hamare paas mein different lang, uh, religion ke people hai hamare paas mein different unka food hai unka different uh, clothing style bhi different hai to in sab ki study jo hai na hum logon ne social and cultural geography mein padhni hai next topic is population and settlement geography in population and settlement geography we have to study the population growth distribution density sex ratio migration occupation structure and in settlement geography we have to study more probably of the rural and urban settlement means population kitni hai hamare paas mein uski density kitni hai kitne male hain kitne female hain kitne log literate hain kitne log illiterate hain sath mein wo log kahan settlement hai unki rural area mein hai gaon wale area mein rehte hain ya shaharon mein urban area mein rehte hain to in sab ki study jo hum logon ne karni hai wo kis mein karni hai population and settlement geography of human geography sub branch mein the next is economic geography economic geography it is the study of economic activity of people including the agriculture industry tourism trade and transport and infrastructure and services also means yahan pe human beings jo hai na us wo kaun si economic activity se juda hua hai jaise ki agriculture hai to usme farmer juda hua hai jaise kuch log transport ke sath jude hain kuch log businessman businessman hai kuch log teacher hai laborer hai 
देन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑक्यूपेशन है उन, उन सब के ऑक्यूपेशन की स्टडी करनी है हमने इकोनॉमिक जोग्राफी के बीच में नेक्स्ट इज हिस्टोरिकल जोग्राफी इट इज़ द स्टडी ऑफ द हिस्टोरिकल प्रोसेस थ्रू विच द स्पेस गेट ऑर्गेनाइज मीन्स इन हिस्टोरिकल जोग्राफी वी हैव टू स्टडी द जोग्राफिकल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एनी एरिया फ्रॉम द टाइम टू टाइम इन द पास्ट नेक्स्ट इज पोलिटिकल जोग्राफी इट इज़ द स्टडी अबाउट द इंटरनेशनल बाउंड्रीज नेशनल बाउंड्रीज स्पेश रिलेशन बिटवीन द नेबरिंग पोलिटिकल यूनिट्स एंड ऑल्सो इट इज अंडरस्टैंड द पोलिटिकल बिहेवियर ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वी कैन से मीन्स इट इज़ द टोटली कंसर्न अबाउट द नेशनल बाउंड्री इंटरनेशनल बाउंड्रीज देयर कैपिटल्स देयर डिस्ट्रिक्स ऑल्सो देयर गवर्नमेंट एंड इट्स पॉलिसी This is all we have to study in the political geography. The next important point of systematic geography is biogeography. Actually, biogeography is the interface between the physical geography and human geography, which leads to the development of biogeography. As we all aware that bio means life, so in this, we will study more about flora and fauna. As the first topic is plant geography, which studies the spatial pattern of natural vegetation and their habitat. We have to study about plant geography, which studies the Spatial pattern of natural vegetation and their habitat. We have to study all the plant kingdom under this topic, like different kind of natural vegetation. हम लोग इसके बीच में पढ़ेंगे जैसे आपने प्रीवियस क्लासेस में पढ़ा था टाइप्स ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन जिसमें ट्रॉपिकल एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडस फॉरेस्ट थॉनी फॉरेस्ट मैनग्रोव फॉरेस्ट एक्सेट्रा डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ श्रब्स आपने पढ़े थे वो सारे टॉपिक हम लोगों ने प्लांट जोग्राफी के बीच में स्टडी करने हैं नेक्स्ट इज जू जोग्राफी इन जू जोग्राफी वी हैव टू स्टडी द स्पेशल पैटर्न ऑफ एनिमल एंड देयर हैबिटेट मीन्स वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द ऑल द एनिमल किंगडम मीन्स यहाँ पे लैंड में रहने वाले जानवर एक्वाटिक मेमल्स एक्वाटिक एनिमल्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स रेप्टाइल्स जितने भी हैं हमारे पास में एनिमल्स उन सब की स्टडी उनके हैबिटेट्स उन सब की स्टडी हम लोगों ने जू जोग्राफी में पढ़नी है नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इकोलॉजी और वी कैन से दैट इको सिस्टम इट इज एक्चुअली अ डील ऑफ द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ हैबिटेट द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द स्पीशीज मीन्स हमारे पास में जितने भी ह्यूमन हैं एनिमल्स हैं मैमल्स हैं इन सब की इंटरेक्शन और इन दोनों का एक इन तीनों का आपस में क्या इफेक्ट होता है एक दूसरे की लाइफ के ऊपर तो उसको हम लोग पढ़ेंगे इको सिस्टम के बीच में लास्ट टॉपिक इज एनवायरमेंटल geography it is generally concerned about the environmental problems such as land gradation pollution aur bhi bahut sari hamare paas problems hain unke sath sath mein hum log bolenge ki environmental geography mein hum log ye padhe kyunki hamare paas human jo hai na wo nature ke sath interact kar raha hai to satisfy their needs aur nature jo hai na is interaction ki wajah se uski involvement ki us area mein involvement ki wajah se kai bar problem create ho jati hai jaise pollution ek bahut badi problem hai air pollution water pollution ye kis wajah se ho rahi hai because humans are interacting towards the nature or physical environment ke sath mein ye interact ho raha hai jiski wajah se dono mein kai bar dono aspects mein kai bar problem ho jati hai ye bahut zyada ek iski study jo hai na hum logon ne environmental geography mein karni hai सो दैट्स इट इन सिस्टमेटिक जोग्राफी आपने देखा होगा सब कुछ हम लोगों ने एक सिस्टमेटिक से पढ़ा इसमें फिजिकल ह्यूमन और बायो जोग्राफी जो है ना थ्री मेन आस्पेक्ट हैं इसके थ्री मेन ब्रांचेज हम बोल सकते हैं इन तीनों ब्रांचेज को फर्दर डिवाइड किया गया है कुछ कैटेगरीज के बीच में तो यहाँ पे सिस्टमेटिक में एक सिस्टम से किया हर एक यूनिट को पढ़ते हैं हम लोग सिंगल को तो बेटर आप इस टॉपिक से पहले सिस्टमेटिक और रीजनल जोग्राफी का डिफरेंस जरूर पढ़ लें student hope this topic is understood to you thanks for watching